First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith. Just want to get into a video about let the Lord do what he got to do. You know, if Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai was graceful enough to allow you to enter into his congregation of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, then just be still and let the Lord work. And one characteristic of being still is just believing and not worrying. You know, so the Lord said he going to repay. If you really believe that, then let the Lord work. But let's get into the scriptures. Second Thessalonians 1 and 6, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Now, to recompense something, that means to pay back. Because, you know, you reap what you sow. And even though you may be an Israelite, you're still going to get judged with Esau if you want to be in cahoots with him. Because, you know, Proverbs 11 and 21 said, though hand joining hand, the wicked should not go unpunished. So if you want to be with this man, you want to live in his philosophies, you want to believe in his technology, then go ahead. You're just going to get the same judgment as him. And that's a sad thing. But the whole point of this lesson is being still allowing the Lord to do what he do, you know. Seven, and to you, of course, that's the hopeful elect because everybody don't have this faith and everybody don't know this word. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Why is he coming back with his angels? Because he about to destroy this place the same way that Solomon Gomorrah went out. Okay. It's the same way that this place, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is going to go out. But instead of the Lord literally shooting fire and brimstone from heaven, he's going to put the spirit on his creation, the heathen nations, to shoot missiles on this place. Okay? Let's get into, let me see. It's really going to be like a, hopefully a quick, straight to the point, edifying video. Hebrews 10 and 30. For we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. So that means you can't try to take vengeance into your own hands. We all know that we can whoop evil E's ass, choke him out, beat him up. But guess what? That's not part of prophecy and you trying to disrupt the Lord's movie. Even though you can't, you could try. All you're going to do is be destroyed. Because the powers that be are ordained from the Most High. Okay? And he set up over it whosoever he pleases. And he set the basis of man. This is a base man that's ruling. So that's power. You know? To get a little bit off a of subject, now nah, I'm going to stay on subject. So if we know that he said, Avengers belongeth unto me. I will recompense. There go again. He going to pay back, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. So he's going to fight for us. He's going to do everything that we want him to do. But we just got to stay faithful and be still and believe, which is the most important. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And the, and the people of the earth are going to know that. And you should already know that. All right. How are we going to overcome the heathen, though? Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name we will tread them under that rise up against us. 
That's how you be still, man. You believe that Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to make good on his promise. And he definitely is. He definitely is. But we just got to be patient and be still. All right? Because it's, it's a beautiful thing when you do have the knowledge of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It is a beautiful thing, man, because you know that this truth is the truth. You know that he's going to make good on his promise. And that actually, you know, it settles down your spirit. Even when you're going through a bad day, you know that this shit ain't going to last always, man. Paradise is coming to the planet Earth. But before paradise come, destruction is coming. Because every kingdom that fell got taken over by force. All right? That's how kingdoms be taken over. By another nation taking them over. So, future prophecy said in Daniels 2. That he was going to, Yahweh Shah is going to use his people. You know, to take over. You know, this kingdom and set up an everlasting kingdom and that she'll stand forever, man. So when we come into power, ain't nobody going to take us out because we going to be the power of the earth. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, say of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So when those nuclear missiles are being shot, man, it's over with. That's the end game. Now you better hope that you the elect, which we all strive to be. But the Lord is going to make good on his promise. You just got to be still and believe, man. That's all you got to do, man. Be still and believe. A, a man of the Lord shouldn't have to tell you all oh, you got to keep the commandments too, to the best of your ability, man. That should be natural. But be still and believe. The Lord got us, man. He got us. And that's why we got to stay constantly in prayer. Because, hey. <laughs> Matter of fact. We got to stay. Um, this scripture just popped in my head. But we got to stay constantly in prayer, man. Just believe, man. And pray for strength. Be still and know that I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. And guess what? What does it say in Romans 8 and 17? That we're going to be heirs to the throne with Yahweh Shai, man. So that guess what? That means we're going to be exalted. That means we're going to be exalted among the heathen. All right? Patience, man. Pray for patience and the strength to endure suffering. All we got. That's why Paul said, pray without season, man. 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The most high of Jacob, not the whole world, is our refuge. That's our hiding place. That's our safe haven, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our safe haven. The elect first on this go around for all of Israel. But right now, he's dealing with the elect because the other people, two thirds, are wicked as hell. All right. So even when you think that, damn, man, this devil got all this shit sold up. He's saying he going to do this. He's saying that the brain chip going to do this. The RFID chip going to do this. Man, the Lord said he got bounce that he cannot pass, man. Don't forget those scriptures right there. J Job 14 and 5. And I'm going to end it on this one. I just wanted this to be straight to the point. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still, man. Let's read this one more time. Stand in awe, okay? 
Be amazed at your power, man, what he's about to do when it comes down to the judgment of this earth, man. He's about to destroy the wicked and uplift the righteous of Yashur Allah, man. And we're going to be the standard on the earth. Right now, we look down upon, we the worst of the worst in the eyes of the world. But he about to turn that upside down, man. Well, turn that right side up. All right? So stand in awe and sin not. All right? Now, we all know that we going to sin. But that's why the Bible say in, in, in Ecclesiastes 17 to 24, you know, in the time of sin, show repentance. You got to remember, David sinned. He sins unto death. And guess what? The Lord had grace and mercy upon him. And that's why in Isaiah 55 and 3, it said, that We are looking for the sure mercies of David, man. All right? Commune with your own heart upon your bed. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's what most of us do. When we in our bed before we go to sleep, if we just sitting in our bed chilling, we should be talking, communing with our heart to Yahweh Bashem Shah, being fervent in prayer, man. And be still. All you got to do is be still and believe and know that the Lord, matter of fact, know that he is, which is Yahweh's name. All right. Know that he is. And through his right hand, which is Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son, that's how he going to save. So know that he is. Be still and believe. We going to be good. All right. We just got to pray for patience and pray for the strength to endure sufferings because that's ordained and inevitable in this truth. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shalom.